What's going on, everyone? And welcome back to another edition of Action Sunday. This week, as per request, fan request, I have decided to review this movie called Assassination by and starring Charles Bronson and Jill Ireland. Yes. Uh, yes, you heard me say it and say it. Yes, I'm reviewing another Charles Bronson movie. Um, so, yeah, I'm going I'm, I'm, I'm to admit once again if, um, that I am not, I've not seen much of Charles Bronson's work. Of course, I only know him as the hero from Death Wish. And, then of course, and of course uh, Murphy's Law, which I reviewed several weeks ago, which feels like a lifetime ago. But anyway, um, this this time I'm looking at this movie. It's a movie. It came out in 87. Uh, the plot is very interesting. It's essentially more of a political thriller scooped in with a bit of a action and thriller elements it's i would say it's it's got some moments it's an interesting movie and i will say it's 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 a fine movie if you've never seen it give it a watch so uh let me give you guys the simple simplified plot so charles bronson plays a, a secret serviceman named jay killian and he's assigned to protect the first lady of the united states played by jill ireland who at, in real life is charles bronson's wife so yeah, uh, this is one of their many times that on screen that they would work together, and like you know, uh, you, could, you could tell and tell and tell like uh, they they try to stick to their characters perfectly and you know just take it seriously. But then again, yeah, I think that that's uh, Charles Bronson's uh, wheelhouse is like he likes to play the serious uh, bad guy, bad guy. Like he can show a little bit of range, but I feel like at times his acting can be can be wooden. So yeah, it's a and so so with this political thriller, I found it to be very entertaining. Yeah, I times i'm like like um hmm, I, I think the pacing was just odd it's like okay i'm like it's waiting and waiting and waiting i'm like waiting for the payoff for for something but at the same time it's like okay okay i get what why they're trying to do this it's like it's like it's the form for any a political thrower if you want if you want to call it that that i've seen done before like around this time let's see time for october what was done, already done like four years prior then you get our movies go, go, coming and going and also to be fair this was technically a canon movie so as you know canon was like a schlock of producing b movie b cult films so uh, you could kind of tell this movie was trying to get up there but I, I don't know but i would say it's 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 a fine movie but you could tell like you can like give it time i think there was some growing pains to this movie, maybe it'll be, be a it'll become a better cult classic, uh, but yeah, not, not much else I can say there. But I will say, like the Jill Ireland, she does a damn fine job, and it's a damn shame this was technically one of her last movies before she passed away from breast cancer. And breast cancer sucks. Hashtag breast cancer sucks. So yeah, yeah, um, like you could tell, like you could tell, there's a formula there that we've kind of seen that would be replicated in future movies like this. It would be replicated in like a few Bond movies, hell, even. Uh, the Jason Bourne franchise like many many decades later so you can tell that there's a formula to follow and like like around this time like you, not only did you have had top movies like or like books from Tom Cage that were being adapted into films you had some of Robert Lowell uh, novels too like I believe around this time for time movies like the Osterman weekend and maybe that's a that future review okay coming up uh so like you could tell like each book like each movie was trying so hard to follow some kind of formula or something or to or follow the book like in a way to like br to bring it to life a like the story that that was that was on on pa pages so you got to be in the right mindset in order to appreciate a work work of art like this and with Charles Bronson uh, you're you're getting your money's worth because there's there's some good there's some really good action moments there's some good tense moments my possibly my favorite moment of the entire movie is they're they're being chased um some t through, at one point they're in the Midwest somewhere I I won't give too much of the story away um they're being chased by a guy in a truck and they're on, they're on motorcycles and somehow they get chased onto a train tracks and, and like uh, it, it it gets really really good like enough that's as best I'm gonna say like like moments of tension like that really bring it to me and like it just highlights oh oh shit what's gonna happen next and the next thing you know oh 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 guns is going off a, a big explosion like and they're like it's like how it's like how it's like a Strip doing a bad walk. It's like uh, you're trying to figure out who what's happening. Like you want to know, like like who, what what can what's next. You can see like the gears turning in the heads of of our of our heroes. So yeah, and I do like the payoff. I like the finale. Uh, it's really good. And of course, uh, yeah, and of course, I love the I love the fact that they they make allusion to oh oh this is like post Reagan era. Even though this was even though this was still in the midst of the Reagan era and this was still in the middle of the Cold War. Like like the Cold War was 
almost over, but you but you get my point. But like you, like a picture, like a picture. Oh, oh, who, what would happen after Reagan would leave office? Who's next? Well, of course, as as history goes, uh, George H. W. Uh, would become president after that. So yeah, but but of course, I would take some creative liberties to be like, oh, okay, here's a here's a fictional president. Obviously, since I think that's the formula in Hollywood, you know, make a fictional president. So yeah, they there you go. I, in all honesty, it's it's a fine movie. Give it a watch if you love this kind of stuff. If you love Charles Bronson. I absolutely recommend it. This this movie gets an eight out of ten. That's as best I'm gonna get. You know, I was gonna rate it a little lower for a, for another reason, but you know what? What after after deep thought, I think it deserves a lot better than than what it seems. And of course, like I said, you love Charles Bronson, you'll love this. Like uh, there's some great chemistry between him and Joe Ireland. And like uh, if you're into political thrillers or like some kind of espionage kind of, kind of formula movies, like you you might appreciate this movie. All right. So that does it for a night. Let me know what you think. Thumbs up this video. Subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned for some more awesome and exciting videos.